Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, uh, specifically for the weeks of February 15th through the 28th, 2017. I have already shuffled and cut the cards, so let's go ahead and begin here. Um, and also thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you please continue to do so. Uh, oh, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, but Valentine's may be over by the time <laughs> uh, you view this, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, so the heart of the situation, uh, I have the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Strength. And I have Eight of Cups, Sun, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups and um, King of uh, Wands. Okay, so um, I feel like the heart of the situation is this um, this Pinnacles guy or girl. Um, I mean, it's a guy on here, but these are general readings, so it could go either way. Um, but is you're dealing with either uh, Taurus. Uh, Capricorn or Virgo also could be dealing with a Leo, um, Aries, or a Sagittarius. And I feel like there is an earth sign um, that has, I don't know, uh, come back to you or you've returned to them. But it's like this person from your past or from your childhood um, you know, I feel like you guys are communicating or being open with one another. Uh, this is someone who you feel like you can share secrets with. Um, this is, it could be someone who you have a loyalty to. Um, and, um, usually this person, now they may have come to you for some sort of encouragement or you have come to them for encouragement and also there may be some sort of resistance um, or they're reframing from following out on their lust or their desires. Um, so I don't know if you're trying to keep the friendship platonic or if they're trying to keep the friendship platonic, um, but it's like there is an attraction, but either you or them are holding out or being resistant towards acting out in that manner. And for whatever reason, I feel like you're walking away from a situation like um, you f you're feeling like something's missing and you want to find what it is that makes you happy. Um, and I do feel like you're going to find it. I feel like something that you've been looking for, something that's been missing, um, you know, because there is some sort of emotional letdown or a sense of abandonment or or you abandoning a situation. Now, also, this could be what happened to you. Like someone um, felt like something was missing with you, so they walked away from it. And it's like, even though this is something that you or they care about, it was, it's just... It's not right or it's no longer serving its purpose. So it's like you or them could be moving on from a situation. But either way, I feel like um, like this is more so like you and you're like elated about something or you had some good news. It's like you were following your intuition and you were right about whatever it is. Um, I feel like you're about to put all your creativity and passions into something that you really love. Um, like you're about to take on a heavy burden. This could be you starting a new career or uh, your own business or uh, just a new position that's been offered to you. And this is something that you're really passionate about. Um, I feel like you're carrying a lot of weight. Um, 
like you're taking on so much right now or this person that you were dealing with or that you currently deal with comes with a lot of work a lot of burdens but I feel like you're going to finally get the payoff um, some of you are going to receive some sort of offering. I feel like more so it's coming from some sort of fire sign. And this person is like in their, they could be older than you or they could be like in their late 30s and older. But this person knows what they want and they're very direct. There's a strong uh, attraction there and you guys kind of get one another. This person is like, a soulmate or there it's another soulmate um, but I kind of feel like um, they're making it known that they want to be with you they're offering what they have they're putting everything on the line to be with you uh, some of you now if you don't end up in a relationship then this is uh, showing the love the unconditional love that's being um, given to you from God from the universe and from within this is you uh, loving yourself or showing that um, you know just understanding that you love yourself um, and that no one can love you as much as you love yourself but for many of you I feel like you're gonna get some sort of proposal or offering from someone not proposal uh, as a marriage but you know just like asked out on a date or something uh, or this could be you you know any guys out there you guys could be asking someone out uh, for a date um, hmm. I feel like whatever this is there's a lot of uh, work ahead but you're willing to put the hard work in it because I feel like you're passionate about this person um, I really feel like this is a new love. It could be a renewal. For those of you that are in relationships, um, I feel like you may be coming out of a hard time or a sad time for whatever reason. Something was going on in a relationship and you guys have been discussing how things were in the past and talking about going back to that and just kind of um, taking care of one another and encouraging one another. Um, and so if there has been like some sort of uh, problems happening in your current relationship, I feel like that's going to go away. Like all the sunshine is going to be out and you're going to feel optimistic and uh, the relationship will be revitalized uh, like a new beginning. Some of you are falling in love with um, a friend or someone. It could, could have been like a platonic friend, maybe turns into more than that, someone that you work with. Um, or someone that you run errands for, I don't know, like your supervisor or whatever, um, develop some sort of passionate relationship. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Okay, now I would be careful because now we have the Seven of Wands here, um, which is showing some sort of deception. And this could be you, uh, this Queen of Cups. Um, kind of feel like you're unaware that something's going on. Someone's doing something behind your back. Um... And part of the reason why you may not recognize it is because you may be fixated on, I don't know, either you've been flirting yourself and someone is doing something out of revenge behind your back. Um, or you, It's like you're admiring this person. It could be younger than you. Or you're messing around with I don't know why I want to say the errand boy or uh, a junior assistant or one of your interns or something like there's been some flirtation. Now, if it isn't you that's doing the cheating, then um, I mean, if it isn't your partner doing this 
cheating and this could be you doing something um, behind your partner's back like you're flirting with someone or you have like a secret crush on someone and you've been I don't know you've been kind of stepping out on your partner either way that somebody's doing something deceptive now also there's the possibility that it could be on both ends hmm Some of you, I feel like you're doing something out of revenge because someone left you or someone is trying to do something to make you jealous. I feel like there is going to be um, some obstacles that you have to fight. Like there's some point where you feel like people are against you or, you know, you're going to have to defend your actions uh, especially at work. So there may be a little work drama happening. And then for some of you, um, I feel like you're going to be beating people off with a stick because you're so many people are asking you out. And so, you know, you're like, man, like slow down. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like um, it makes you feel good. But at the same time, you just like literally you have to fight them off of you because you're so. Uh, attractive and presentable um, and then I do feel like there are things happening at your job or like even if you work from home there's something happening behind your back I feel <clears throat> or this could be you doing things behind your partner's back while they're at work hmm but I feel too, now somebody is going to try to claim you. Like maybe you are seeing more than one person and there's gonna be someone that's like, uh, look once and for all, I, I wanna be the one to, you know, be there for you. Let me be the one. Um, that could be a girl or a guy just letting you know and just putting it out there, like trying to beat out the competition, um, you know. This could be you putting it out there saying, who's it going to be, you know, and giving someone an ultimatum. Uh, there's some there's going to be some sort of um, opposition with love. Um, some of you may feel threatened too. like. I don't know, you feel like you need to do something like someone's threatening your relationship. So you're making it known that, you know, your guy or your girl is taken. Um, and I do feel like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like some things are going to be going on at your place of work. Even if you do something from home on the internet, like, um, something like if you have a chat room or something or... You know, it's just, I feel like it's going to be a few conflicts. Now, you may have these conflicts with your manager or boss as well. But someone's trying to interrupt your daily routine. Um, I feel like you're trying to focus on, on your job, on your work. But in the back of your mind is still these obstacles and things that you have to take care of back at home or... Um, somewhere else you know it's like you're trying to focus on work but these things do keep uh popping up in the back of your head now some of you you're trying to fight off some sort of um sexual attraction you have to someone else and it may be because you're in a relationship that you're trying not to let the relationship go that route but you still keep thinking about that person and you're getting worked up about them even though you don't want to think about them that way it's almost like you feel like you're going you're being tempted to cross that line um so yeah be mindful of that all right, so uh, remember these are general readings. For private readings, you will email me to matt76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Just click on the link and it'll show you my email address. Uh, make sure you're leaving your comments. And um, again, remember to sh please share and um, my videos uh, with your friends or on your Facebook to other people that, you know, might be into tarot readings. Um, 
And um, like, share, subscribe. Uh, many blessings to you.